My name is Dull Red. I am PV Palmer. And this is what the third episode, right? Fourth, fourth total. Fourth, fourth total episode. That's right. We're on the fourth total episode. Oh shit! We're yeah. Lady Caspian is still here chilling with us. Where she's fishing, still farming up some food for us because she's awesome. And still building that weird ob obelisk thing way over in the background. I don't even know what the hell he's doing. Um, we're gonna check out the farm, and then we're gonna start building that that dock um, along here, along this jungle. Um, but first, we're gonna check out the farm. Uh, topic this time, I think. Well, we'll look at our our nifty little papers here. See what uh, I wrote down. Ah, uh, do we talk about childhood? How we grew up? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah. You want me to go first? When we start talking first, or you wanna you wanna tell them about yours? You can start with yours. Mine's kind of blank. Okay. Well, we'll talk about mine. My childhood was um. It was really cool. I mean, I, I talk crap about my childhood a lot, but uh, I did get to do a lot of fun stuff growing up. My, my grandparents took care of me a lot. My, my mom and dad had to work all the time. Um, I didn't... Well, we'll get to my dad in a little bit. My dad is a big part of my childhood and my life, but uh, we'll get to him in a minute. Um, I grew up in... Um, California and here in Las Vegas um, until I got a little older and then I was a bunch of other places but uh, mostly here here in Las Vegas uh, beautiful Sin City uh, where it's 150 fucking degrees all the time yeah it's not true whatever not to you but I'm fat it fucking sucks it uh my grandparent, my grandpa was a, a service writer for BMW, and my grandma's always done the same thing. She was a courtesy clerk <coughs> for um, for Smiths and and grocery stores. She's always done that uh, as long as I can remember. Uh, obviously, when she was younger, she did other things. She was um, she was an exotic dancer and she was a bartender. Grandma was an exotic dancer? Yes, my grandma was a stripper. How come you've never told me this before? I don't know how you haven't seen the naked pictures all over the house. There's naked paintings all over the place. I didn't know that was of her. Yep, that's of her. She was hot. Yeah, she was. My grandma was as hotty toddy. <laughs> but, um... And Brittany's grandma was in the circus, so... I mean, we definitely have interesting families. We have really cool families. Um, Brittany will have a whole episode where she's going to tell you about her childhood. Her childhood is, is very deep and very emotional. Um, she had a lot of stuff go on as a child, so we'll, we'll have a whole episode for her because she's badass, and she's my wife, so she deserves it. Anyway, um, my, my grandpa was a service writer. My grandpa and my grandma took care of me. Um, most of my childhood and uh, we lived here in Vegas all over Vegas and um, Brittany I s oh <laughs> I thought it was Brittany I was like Brittany I said we have a whole episode on you what are you doing stop it <laughs> you guys are distracting me stop it we can talk about your family after <laughs> um uh, my grandpa always made uh, quite a bit of money, so me and my brother got pretty much anything we wanted whenever we wanted it. We we spent a lot of time at theme parks and, and getting video games, the, the things we wanted. And um, I don't know. I guess I guess you can see we were kind of spoiled, um, but. We were also expected to do certain things. We obviously had chores and responsibilities and and whatnot to do. And um, we we had a pretty good childhood. I mean, we got to go places and do things, vacations. I already said that. Uh, and as life went on, um, my dad didn't live close to us. He lived um, all over, actually. He lived in Michigan, and then he came to Vegas, and we'd spend summers with him. We'd spend weekends with him, whatever, whenever he was around. And then 
he moved closer and and he stayed for a while and we got to know him and then he moved to Texas when I was nine, ten. And I started having problems with my mom. Me and my mom have very similar personality types. So we we bump heads all the fucking time. Like, it, it's ridiculous. And as a kid, you don't really think about, hey, that's your mom. That's, that's your mom, man. Um... And I don't think that I got in that mindset until my adulthood. And even now, sometimes I forget because we just make each other fucking angry. And, um, so I, I made the decision to move with my dad to Texas. And that's when, when things changed a lot. Uh, I thought that I had responsibilities before. Um, I had no idea. I, uh. I very quickly gained uh, many, many more. And, um, this is going to be a lot for this one episode. Um, I'm not going to go all the way up into my teenage years. Uh, I'll just say that my dad was, was very strict and had very high expectations. And if you did not meet those expectations, you were, uh, Disciplined accordingly. Ginger, come take a look at it. Give me one second. Aaron will talk about his. Show it off to the viewers. I absolutely will. Hold on, let me just smack some of this down a little bit while I'm. But that was that was my childhood. I had a really good childhood. I, I grew up being a gamer. My grandpa and my grandma always supported it. My dad, actually, the first game that. I owned for myself that wasn't a hand-me-down, that wasn't an old Atari game or whatever, was actually Halo. The very first Halo was the first game I owned for myself. Because I, I remember the day it came out, and I didn't have an Xbox at the time, and I asked my dad for it for my birthday, and he said, Hell no. It's rated M. It looks bloody and gory and aliens and... And my grandma never liked being told no. She's very stubborn. She's a little redheaded shit. <coughs> I'm gonna look at this this obelisk thing that Aaron built. We'll, I'll continue that in a second. What is this, man? Is this the lighthouse? Did you look inside? In memory of 9/11, it's going down. I'm the only timber. <laughs> 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 That is great. <laughs> Brittany, go look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful memorial, Aaron. Thank you. I You're try. such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to do something with all the birds. I didn't want to just all sit in there. It needed to be done. Alright. So the first game I actually owned was, was Halo. And the day it came out, my grandma went and bought me a brand new Xbox and Halo that day because my dad told her no. All because my dad told her no. So she was spiteful and went and bought it for me anyway. So me and my brother played. And my brother actually played until the TV blew up. Like, he played for <laughs> over three days. Left, left the... The Xbox and the TV on. I don't know how the Xbox lived through it, but the TV gave out. <coughs> Didn't blow up. It 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 blew a few, the fuse. And um, so we replaced the TV, and then I played, and then I blew the fuse on the next TV. My grandma got frustrated, and she's like, "All right, you guys need to learn how to take turns." So. <coughs> We started playing in rotation. It didn't happen again, but that was that was a really good memory from my childhood. Is is playing with my brother. My brother doesn't uh, really play video games a whole lot with me. It, I mean, sometimes he'll be on my videos or on my stream, but not very often. Um, we aren't as close anymore. He's he's 16, so I mean, obviously, if you guys uh, have siblings or if you, if you're older than 18, you know how 16 felt. It. You feel like everybody's against you, you have no friends, everybody's an enemy. It's just, it's kind of a terrible place, so it's, uh, it's 
it's whatever. It doesn't bother me. It used to, but whatever. You guys had a pretty argument going on, but you guys are good now. Yeah, we're good. That's because I smacked the shit out of him. Like, I was pretty gnarly to him sometimes. Sometimes, no, we did. Sometimes for uh, for good reason, though. I mean, yeah, he, uh, he smoked the marijuana around my kid once, and uh, I fucking bitch slapped him out of his chair so hard he didn't even know what year it was. But we'll, we'll go into that another day. <laughs> Aaron, why don't you talk about some of your childhood memories and shit, man? Well, it was a uh, cold, cold. Don't, don't cold. be retarded. Don't don't be retarded. I know where you're going. All right. Well, it was just a. <laughs> let's start off from when I was born. <coughs> it picks up there. Uh, I was about newborn, and I was born in a small town called uh, Turning Kelling something North Dakota. I don't remember. I lived there till I was about ten months old, and then I moved over to Turkey. And I don't remember much of my life before the age of eight, so you're going to have to excuse me if I do stutter a bit and have to think. But, you know, I just lived there. I was a child growing up. I didn't go to school there at all, so I was there until about, I was, say, five years old. And about when I was about five years old, um, there's this little restaurant, because I was in um, a place called Adana, Turkey, and there's a two-story restaurant. And I was about five years old, and my mom went to go out and talk on the phone. And I followed her out, but she didn't realize I was there. And I was just kind of chilling. And then uh, I played on the railing that was, you know, close to going off the edge. And, well, uh, the railing was pretty big, and I was a tiny five-year-old. I know, you can't. But I was a tiny five-year-old. So I actually happened to fall. And I don't remember this exactly, but apparently my mom tried to jump in after me. And some bystander actually just saved her from going off over two. And uh, I ended up being in the hospital for about 11 months. And, I mean, my dad was a U.S. Um, Air Force guy, so we didn't stay in Turkey. I was put into Germany. I was put into a German hospital. I ended up with two broken legs, a broken arm, and my jaw actually snapped. And it took me until about this year to get my teeth finally sort of in place. I mean, you can still see there's a little space. I'm not sure if he has my own video yet, but yeah. And then, you know, one thing that I didn't know about until you know a few years back when I ever actually talked to my mom about it because I don't like to talk about it that much but there's like it's all concrete and I don't know if you've ever been to places where they have little like square places where they put um you know trees and stuff the only reason I happen to be alive right now is because I landed in one of those and it was just full on dirt and there happened to not be a tree there and I know what you guys are thinking dirt stone when you're falling at that height it makes a difference but I was a five-year-old and it was, like I said, it was around marshish when it happened, so it was really muddy weather. And so, I went to bed. The only thing I remember from the incident is just me falling and then waking up in the car. And then, I don't remember anything about my childhood after that. Fast forward to when I'm six, seven years old, I move here. And, you know, I'm grateful to my mom. She's given me everything I've ever wanted, going back PS2, PS1. PlayStation 3. The PS4 was really kind of on my part, but she still helps me. Just growing up, I've, I've got, I was a little dick. I always got what I wanted, and I don't know. I, I just, I never needed anything, and you know, it's just how it always went. It's just how it always was. Um, when I was about, let's say, 10 years old. I started in fifth grade and I got my first girlfriend and I thought that was awesome and then two days later she dumped me for Billy and that's why you're gonna always hear me saying jokes like fuck you Billy and stuff like that that's, that's, that's where it all originated from did she really leave you for a dude named Billy? yep oh god Billy I can't even forget her her name was Samantha and she left me for Billy <laughs> yeah and you know, ever since then, I was just a fifth grader, so I didn't care. But I, I, I just think it's funny that I remember that. And aside from that, you know, it's just nothing going on with my life. I'm, I was never into relationships. I was terrified of women, terrified of sex, terrified of everything like that. But that's that's gonna be a different story that I'll probably make on my channel. And I honestly, I wasn't comfortable with sex or anything like that until I met with my girlfriend right now. But that that's jumping way too far ahead, you know. 
my childhood was pretty simple. I got what I wanted, and you know, I was a little douchebag, and I hated how I was, but I'm changing now, and I'm still a douchebag, but I, I'm a kind-hearted douchebag. If that makes sense. Not really, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, my childhood—that's my childhood was pretty simple. Mm, yeah. You want to eat a puffer fish? Just cook it. A puffer fish? Just cook it. You, you know what a puffer fish does? They're poison. Yeah, we're gonna get high, nigga. Take some of the LS puffer. Don't be saying racial slurs. That's 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 not allowed. I didn't say racial slurs. Whatever. All Just the say nigga all the time. Don't even stop. All... Don't say it. Stop saying it on <laughs> YouTube, dude. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> yeah, that was my childhood. What the hell keeps happening to all the coal? Coca Cola. Shouldn't be drinking this, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah, don't remember, kids. Don't follow Dalt Red. Follow PV Palmer. He drinks the water. Yeah, follow that pussy. Even though I make more gains than him. Yeah, but you're gaining. stronger, better yeah. beard, better beard, stronger than him. Stronger than me? Yeah, not anymore. Whatever, I, I fucking throw you in the air. Calm the fuck down. Yeah, I can throw you in there too, big boy. I doubt Wait, it. More than me. Oh, what the hell? What's Brittany building over here? I don't know. What are you talking about? The pin? Where is she? She's right beside the house. Oh, it's a horse stable. She's building a horse stable. That's cool, honey. Nice. It's for the horses. Damn it, Ginger! Stop blowing shit up. Stop blowing holes in the side of my ship! I just realized I don't have armor. <laughs> Wait, what is the. What's the. What's the recipe for. Um, I need a puffer fish. Fences. Fences. Oh, it's gonna be a fences. It's gonna be. Okay, um. Two blocks each on the outside and then sticks up and down the middle. Two blocks on the outside? Yeah, basically sticks. four in total, and then two sticks in the middle. You guys don't make no sense. Crap's driving me crazy. Jesus, I'm poisoned for 30 seconds? Damn, these pufferfish are effective. No shit. They hurt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a spruce fence. Eat this. Eat what? Yeah, I like that contrast there. There we go. That's good. She ignores me completely. <laughs> what? I'm like, eat this. She looks at me and then turns around and completely ignores me. <laughs> What's wrong, Brittany? What's wrong? I can't hear you. Oh. She's annoyed with you because you made her play something in the wrong place. <laughs> Now she wants to punch your face hole. Okay, where's there it is. All right. <coughs> I don't I don't know exactly why I'm building this dock. I just I just am. It it seemed like a good idea. Do it. Just do it. I had just enough fence. Holy crap. I'm gonna build something into the side of Mount Swagmore. Does that sound swaggish to you, bro? Yeah. I don't know why, but I have a bunch of clay in my inventory, like clay blocks. My mind broken high. What the yeah. hell? Did you build a, a fucking staircase in the middle of Mount Swagmore? Yeah, I, I dug up once. Oh, are you ever going to use it again or no? Mm, no, no, this was my escape route. I may block it off, I don't know. 
I already blocked it off. I thought I didn't know we can get back into it, honestly. I just dug right into the middle of it. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, beatboxing. <laughs> we should, uh. Are you trying to go. You mean you're trying to do that? Is that what no, you're trying to do? That's not faggoty. I'm doing it the real way. Fucking Aaron. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. What are you talking about? Okay, so. I don't know what I'm going to build there yet, but it's going to be something. How long are we into this episode? It feels like we've been recording forever. Uh, yeah, we're 20 minutes and it's about to be done. Um, Completely lost track of time. Yeah, I know, right? Anyway, yeah, I think we're going to end it here. I think this is the, the end of this episode. In episode four, we're four episodes in to this. We, we made some progress. We made a lot of progress, actually. We cleared the, the whole forest, made a monument. Aaron made this monument. Brittany's working on the stable, and she worked on a farm. That stable's looking nice. We did finish the docks. The docks is okay. We don't know what we're going to do with the docks yet, but um, we'll figure something out with it. I think I may edge it a little here and, and cut into here. Um, but if you guys liked it, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you check out PV Palmer stuff. I hope you guys had a, a, a good experience. I'll post experience the link to my us. channel in the description below. Don't worry. I'll make sure he does. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Have a good night, day, whatever it is for you guys. Peace. Later. Later.